I'd like to thank you both for coming in today. Marriage can be a rocky road for the best of us, and royalty is no exception. Thank you, Doctor. We've been talking about it for a while now, and, well, I don't know what to do. We have been having some problems, Doctor. Well, you did the right thing coming to me. Let me check your file. Greg, and Jeanette Charming of P fame, it seems. Say, sir, that you married her because she could feel the P. That's right, Doctor. Through 30 mattresses, my wife can feel the pee. It was quite pointy. <laughs> well, in terms of bride selection, pee through mattress is quite respectable, though barely beneath shoe fitting or Stockholm syndrome, at least as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so what seems to be the problem? Is it a matter of communication, perhaps? Well, we have been talking a bit too much lately. That can be troubling. Is the conversation <laughs> interesting? Quite. My wife, bless her heart, is not afraid to speak her mind. And you've done nothing to discourage such behavior. <laughs> not as hard as I should. No, no, I think you're doing just fine. It's not your fault I was born with a big mouth. I mean, I know you're supposed to keep her quiet and unobtrusive, but sometimes I find myself interested in what she has to say. Sometimes, sometimes we, we have, have conversations, conversations late into, into the, the night, night talking, talking about, about all sorts, sorts of things. Life, life love. love. <coughs> well, you'll have to suppress that impulse, I'm afraid. The best happily ever afters require as little communication as possible. I know one couple who got married without speaking at all. Very successful. I know, I know. Don't feel too bad. Mr. Charming, I'll recommend you lock her away in a faraway tower for a month or two. There's a very nice anti-resort you can go into. Quite dreadful. You'll find it just a thing. I suppose we could look into it. You seem hesitant. Well, it's just that my wife, she's, um... I'm not very good with... towers. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense! You felt a pee, didn't you? Yes. Then you're a true princess. And true princesses are good with... towers! <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think you couldn't handle a big tower? Well, my parents locked me in one a few years back. You know the drill. Tower, dragon, charming prince to come and save you. Good. Go by the book. So what went wrong? Well, it was just so boring. All I had to do up there was sit and lament my fate. I had paper and pen to compose some angsty poetry about my prince, a big window to sigh out of delicately, and even a single rose to symbolize my fading youth. It seems like your parents care about you very much. <laughs> I don't see what the problem is here. What happened to you? I... waited three days and then climbed down and beat the dragon myself. Oh, uh, you bet she did! Kicking ass like... <coughs> <coughs> How shameful. <laughs> Mrs. Charming, I'm shocked. Standing up to parental abuse like that, it just isn't done. One would think you hadn't read the Princess Handbook at all. No, 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 no. I've read it. You don't understand. My parents were so ashamed. My mother was her high school's best damsel in distress, you know? Could tear her hair with the best of them. <laughs> well, I'm sure some latent princess genes are in there somewhere. If you look deep. Well, we have to move along. <laughs> what else is the matter? Well... Her fairy godmother is a fairy model. The family got her for a bargain. She can only hop around and turn vegetables into various types of transportation. I seem to recall she turned your radishes into... What was it? Oh, a pair of roller skates, I think. And you should see what she did to my cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it quite the ride, actually. <laughs> all right, all right. I think I can see the problem. But it doesn't make any sense. P-based tests have a happily ever after rating of over 98%. And you passed with flying colors. Did it? Well... Well, what? I have insomnia, okay? I mean, have you ever tried to sleep on a pile of mattresses 30 strong? Uh, of course not. <laughs> I mean, I woke up the next morning and complained that I couldn't sleep, and the next thing you know, I'm betrothed! So you! Didn't feel the pee. And you! She came to me right before the wedding. She was in tears, saying how she'd fail the test so I could cancel it if I wanted to. But you didn't. No. I guess after getting to know her better, her jokes, her hopes, 
How he still likes to play with his Lance Lad action figures. The way she still sleeps with one leg under the covers. How he comes home from being princely and snuggled up to me while we drink our chamomile tea. I don't know. It just seemed wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.